Okay, guys, a real fast update here on gold in particular. So I start with the DXY. I feel like the bounce is, it's not confirmed done yet. It could go a little higher to 104.5, but we're getting to the last stages of this bounce, I think, before we retest, you know, 103. So I don't know if the DXY is going to go up much. There'll be news today, so that will be a catalyst, but I just feel like the bounce is soon exhausted, if not already done. So gold should be bottoming, and on top of that, if we look at gold, you can see my last annotations here. I feel like we have retested prior resistance perfectly, right? Look at this. For me, it was 2010 that was resistance. We broke out of that and just squeezed. And now we've retested, literally kissed the exact same line, uh, well, yesterday, and now we're bouncing. So for me, it's literally a question of a curl. I don't think we're just going to squeeze up again. I think it'll be a bit more of a steady move. But I think we are actually going to go. And by the way, resistance is 2070 slash 2080. Yes, obviously, a 1.2150 will be. But let's let's close above 2080, really, this old high. And then we'll probably scream up. Uh, and then resistance will be 2150. But I don't mind uh, resistance at 2150. That's a beautiful new record high. So for me, it's just a curl. And let's test and close above 2070 slash 2080. Silver, by the way, has also hit its support, which I like it when they coincide together. Look at this. This is another prior resistance that acted support that yesterday was identified and touched. And now the slow curl, is it really 25? It's not really 25. I would say it's even 20. 5.5 maybe that's resistance now uh, i'll leave this in anyway, anyway but yeah slow curl and i expect silver to to move up way more than gold as we rise but let's see i don't expect it to be that explosive because this really took a lot of the excitement out of the move so i think it's going to be a bit more gradual just like gold let's look at the miners real quick here we didn't retest the resistance you know so the miners i don't want to say they're outperforming gold but Actually, they are, I would say, because gold and silver come down, you know, one, two, well, gold at least one and two percent per day, which is quite big, more actually. Um, and silver's obviously done bigger moves, and the miners have just matched them in terms of percentage moves, and it should be double on the way down, just as it should be double on the way up. So I think the miners have actually outperformed. Uh, and this is GDXJ, by the way, not down that much. So I think we won't, I mean, if gold and silver start to curl and go up. I don't see the miners going back down here. So, you know, today, if if it's a good day, we could go right back up and test the 38 levels. And, you know, we could probably break out. We probably will break out in the miners before gold and silver. So the miners look good. And the retest has been technically disciplined. GDX, same thing. Ah, this one did uh, touch. But it's a decent bounce and close above. But the fact that GDXJ didn't is still bullish, you know. It didn't go down as much as the GDX relative to the trend line. So I think it's bullish price action. I think it's technically very, very adhering. So I like what I see. Let's just get gold and silver to go back up. Um, and do we need the dollar to go down? Maybe. Hopefully not. Hopefully it would be better if we didn't even need that. And yields, well, they could still go up. And look at that. It keeps going down. That's incredible. That's incredible. Anyway, let's see what happens. That's just a very quick update specifically on the miners and um, the metals. Good luck.